Hello everyone. So now let us try to understand about the filter transformation in a Azure Data Factory. In previous video, we have seen like how actually we can use a derived column, how actually we can use a transformation. In a similar way, how actually you can use a filter transformation that actually we are going to see in this particular video. Okay. So filter means what? What actually happens is like in a SQL, whenever you want to filter, we generally use a where clause, right? In a where we give a condition like where ID equal to two, where um, name equal to this so like this condition we generally give and we will actually try to filter that particular record in a similar way in azure data factory if you want to filter if you want to perform some kind of the thing you we can achieve with the help of the filter transformation okay here also we have to write some of the expression and that expression should satisfy the condition if the condition is satisfying you will get the particular results so row kind of the transformation if you want to do in this in that kind of scenario we generally go for the filter transformation i will try to show you in with the practical okay so let me try to open my data factory this is a particular data factory i have okay first i will try to show you what is my source this is my particular source i have i'll click here okay i'll go to the edit and i will try to show you my data how my data looks like i have employee id name salary and address what actually we want to do we have a requirement we want to filter only the record where the address is india okay we want only the india records we don't want all the india and usa record we only want a record where the address is india okay so that actually we will try to understand with the practical i'll go to the my data factory i'll click on the data flow click on the new data flow click on the add source click on the data set click on the new data set what is my data set it is available in azure blob storage so i will select it i will select my azure blob storage link service which i have created in a previous video okay and i will select my file from here that is a emp csv file okay i will select that and i will select the first row as a header okay now my source is now ready if you want to see the data go to data preview you will be able to see your data okay now our source is available in a blob storage and that is a csv format so you will be able to see employee id name salary and address in address uh, we have all the data now what actually we are going to do we are going to see for the filter transformation so click on the plus button okay now if you go down you can see in a row modifier we have a filter transformation click on the filter once you will click on the filter first uh, it will ask you for the give the name we can see filter transformation or you can write anything here okay once you will write you can see the name is changing filter transform thing whatever you will give you will get to see here okay now incoming stream what is the your incoming stream it is saying like incoming stream is source one because from source one only the filter transformation will be applied so for that you have to select your incoming stream after that filter on okay so it is saying like you have to write an expression based on that actually the filter will happen so i will click on this open expression builder it is similar like the derived column which we have seen in a previous video okay now here you have to write a condition so what actually condition we can write we have a different kind of the condition so what actually we are going to do equals i am using if address okay if address is india address equal to the india then I, it will filter it out okay i will just preview it let's see whether it's working or not if my address column contain the india it should filter out okay now this will give you a true or false whatever the right you can see right means that is satisfying this condition india it is satisfying that's why you are getting right 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 okay now we'll click on the save and finish now if you go to the data preview and if you replace you will get to see only the filter record only the india record you can see because this is satisfying our condition right we are doing a filter on where address equal to the india so that is satisfying our condition that actually we can see our record over here okay so like this the different kind of the condition you can put over here okay so even if you want to change any other filter that also only the thing is you have to just write a expression now click on the plus click on the sync and uh, in a sync just select your data set we are actually you want to save so for that we will create a new data set we want we want to save into azure blob storage 
okay we want to save in a delimited text or json any format let us try to save in a delimited text only csv format click your link service okay and select where actually you want to save we want to save in a output folder i'll select that so we have uh, this file already available part 00 and the success we are going to create one more okay i have selected that particular file first row is header i'll select that click on the okay now this is the pipeline which is now ready go to the pipeline click on the new pipeline just drag your data flow here okay and click on the publish all once it will publish you are seeing like there is no error now we are good to go and we are good to run our pipeline where you will be able to see only in the records which is filter out and which is the India record. So this is the only condition we have to do whenever we are doing a, we are applying a filter transformation. You can see publish is completed. Click on the add trigger and the trigger now. Now it is it will start trigger that you can monitor from a monitor window. And if you will refresh here, you will be able to see that is in in progress state. Once it will complete, we will try to see our record should be available in our output folder. Okay. Now you can see the it is now succeed. Now let us go to the our blob storage. Now go to the output. Uh, we can see. I think this one is our new file. Uh, this one is our new file. Go to the edit yeah and go to the preview now you can see only the address which is india that got filtered it out so like that actually we can use a transformation 